some SMF songs onto my USB flash drive from my computer. And the great thing about this is that I can keep my songs in different descriptive folders so it's easy to find them quickly. You could have folders for different types of songs or grouped by specific artists or composers. Or if you're a gigging musician, you could have them arranged in sets or medleys. Selecting a song is the same procedure for both of the sequences, so I'm going to show you just with sequencer one. Just select it. I'm going to go ahead and choose the flash drive instead of the internal memory. Now the list of directories I created on my computer will appear here. Of course, if you don't put songs in directory, just a list of songs will appear here. But I think you'll agree it's much easier to organize your music this way in directories. Simply open up a directory you want and pick a song. Now at this point, you could press the play all button, which will play the first 128 songs in that directory. Now this is great if you're a professional musician and you want the PA800 to play some background music while you take a break. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and select this song. Now just press the play button and the song will start. Now to play the tune yourself, you're going to need to mute the melody in the song. The track used for melody in a MIDI file can vary, but in general with commercial MIDI files, it's track 4. Just select track 4 and touch the volume slider so we can mute it and the melody is muted. Now you can use the track select buttons to return to the real time tracks and choose the sound that you want to play the melody with. I've gone ahead and muted all of these real time tracks so I'm left with the very first one here which is upper one. Let's go ahead and select say a trumpet sound. You can use the balance slider to balance between the song tracks and the real time tracks just as you could between style tracks and real time tracks as we saw in chapter 4. Many commercial MIDI files include lyrics and you can display these on the PA800 screen or on a TV using the optional VIF4 video interface. To see the lyrics, simply touch the Lyrics and Mark tab at the bottom of the screen and select the sequencer 1 or 2 tab to the right of the screen. Now, this is great if you want to sing along karaoke style or if you're a professional singer and it's a very useful reminder of the lyrics. You could even use a TV for the lyrics and have a karaoke party. And it's great to use the voice processor which adds harmonies to your vocal. We'll look at that in the next chapter. Let's just have a look at this working. Very cool. You'll also even find that the MIDI file, if it contains chord information, is displayed in the lyric screen. Actually, it's easier to focus on the top left of the screen than amongst the lyrics here. Now, there's a choice to turn chord display off in the options tab. A great feature if you're a gigging musician is that you can load the next song into sequencer 2 while sequencer 1 is playing, just use the same selection process. Let me start out the first sequencer there, and the second sequencer, I'll select Harmony Song right here. Now I could even play that guy and balance between the two with the slider. Now if you're reading lyrics, on the screen or even using the markers function, we'll look at that next, you can set the PA800 so that the screen will automatically switch the lyrics or markers pages for the two sequences when you move the sequencer balance slider. Just press the menu button, preferences, general control and check the lyrics mark balance link. Now when I move the sequencer balance slider, the lyrics are shown for the sequencer that I faded to. Check it out. Well, in this example, actually, the second sequencer doesn't have any lyrics. So, but anyway, you get the idea. Back to the Christmas lyrics here. 
Now, if you ever start a song and nothing happens, imagine this. I'll start this from the top. Seems like nothing happens. Always check the cross fade slider. It should be at least in the middle and at best all the way over towards the sequencer that you're using. Now, if you ever, let me just restart both of these at the beginning. If you ever want to start the two sequences absolutely together and crossfade between them, press and hold shift and then either of the sequencer play buttons. You notice it started them both right there. There are several types of music where this could be interesting. This is probably not one of them. Where it could be interesting is perhaps modern dance music where you could crossfade between the two. Sometimes a MIDI file song isn't long enough, especially if you play for dancing. Or perhaps you want to start a song from a specific measure. A great feature of the PA800 is that you can set markers in a song and very simply return to those points as many times as you like. Markers are a standard feature of MIDI files and commercial files may include them anyway, but you can add them yourself so simply with a PA800. First of all, select the Lyrics and Mark tab and then select the Mark tab for the sequencer that you're using. In this case, this would be Sequencer 1. Now, there are a couple of ways to add markers. One is to simply touch the Add button while the song is playing and at the measure you want to mark. So I'll start from the top. Okay, let's imagine I want to drop it in right where the melody should probably be starting after this intro. And we could drop it right about here. The other is just to advance the song to a specific measure using the transport buttons here and then just press add. In this case I'll go ahead and set this marker at measure number 14 where the next section of the song starts. And I'll go ahead, once I've set it there, hit add. Fantastic, I have a new marker there. Now after setting this you can edit the timing of the marker or you can change its name by pressing edit right there. We've known how to, uh, to name things before. I'll just go ahead and hit cancel. Now, anytime I touch the marker when the song is playing, it will jump straight to that measure. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the first one, hit play, and then bang, we go straight to measure 14. Very, very cool. Now you could also use markers to skip a section of a song. Just go ahead and set the marker to the measure just after the section you want to skip and then you'll be able to jump straight ahead to that point just by touching that marker. Now the great thing is that you can resave your song including those markers. You can either overwrite your song or make perhaps a new version with a new name. So with a little preparation you can have important markers set for all of your songs so you'll always be able to extend a song in a live performance. And of course, this feature isn't just for professionals. If you wanted to practice from a particular point, then you could set that as a marker too. Here are some useful tips for song play mode. Now, earlier I showed you how you could mute a track so that you could perhaps play a melody live. Just select a track and mute it there. Well, sometimes you might want to solo one track, and if you had to mute the other 15 tracks it would be very laborious but thankfully this is one of the special functions of the shift button. Let me start this song up here. Just go ahead and hold down shift and then touch the track you want to solo. Shift press down or track one. Now to exit from the solo mode, just press and hold shift down again and touch the solo track. You can also use solo for other types of tracks, for example, upper real-time tracks, style tracks, and sequencer tracks. You'll have noticed that when a song starts to play, there are some silent measures at the beginning. These measures contain all of the setup data for the song and each track of the song. I'll start from the top here. Now you can avoid this delay by setting fast play which you'll find in the song play menu. Under preferences and general controls right here. Now when you start the song it will play from the first notes rather than the first measure. To avoid having to do this every time you switch on the PA800 simply select the pull down menu 
in the top right hand corner of the screen and select Write Global Song Play Setup. Touch OK and confirm by pressing Yes. The PA800 is fitted with a powerful digital voice processor based on technology developed by TC Helicon, including effects and three-part harmonization. You can connect any dynamic microphone directly to audio input 1, which is routed internally through the voice processor. To connect a condenser microphone, you'll need an external phantom power supply. You can also connect a microphone through an external mixer and then connect one of the mixer line outputs into the audio input 1 of the PA800. First, let's look at how you connect a mic. Before you start, to safeguard the PA800 speakers and your ears, turn the mic volume and mic effects sliders on the panel down. These are the default functions of the two assignable sliders. Then select the Mic tab at the bottom of the screen. Plug the mic into audio input 1 and adjust the input trim to a high level and try speaking into the mic. Check, check, one, two, one, two, hey, hey. Now you won't hear anything from the speakers at this point, but you should see the audio in LED flash green. If it flashes red, the level is too high. The volume trim is just like the input gain on a mixing desk. Now you're ready to turn up the mic slider and the effects until you get a comfortable level from the speakers. Be careful not to get the mic too close to the speakers or you'll get feedback. In fact, if you're using the PA800 like this at home, then standing away from the PA800 will help avoid feedback and allow you to use a higher volume. Now, if you want to mute the mic quickly for any reason, just turn off the mic button on the front panel. Now we'll turn on the harmony button and you're ready to sing along with some music. La, la. You can play in any way you choose to accompany your singing, either using the PA800 as a full keyboard, maybe with a piano sound, or using a style as a backing, and of course using a standard MIDI file song, as we saw in Chapter 5. Firstly, let's try singing with a style backing. Just set up the PA800 as though you were going to play in style play mode. You might have a lot of favorite settings saved as performances, so you could use one of those. Next, select the type of harmony you want to use. There are 40 different presets created by TC Helicon, and very conveniently the first one on the list adds three harmony notes to your melody note, giving you a four-part harmony. We'll start the song with the harmony switched off and introduce it part of the way through. Yeah. add harmonies to your voice, the voice processor needs to know what those harmonies are. Let's go ahead and hold down shift and press harmony. <laughs> 